It was 1.40 a.m. Deputy Sheriff Val Johnson was on patrol in rural Marshall County when suddenly he saw a bright light a few feet above ground level two miles down the road. I traveled about a mile and the light seemed to uh, intercept me, so to speak. Came, uh, came right upon me. It was painful. The, the light was extremely brilliant and painful. I closed my eyes and I heard the sound of breaking glass and that's the last I remember. Whatever it was came extremely fast. He didn't have time to be scared. He doesn't know what it was. I have no idea. It's truly unexplainable to me or uh, un unknown to me. Johnson was unconscious for 40 minutes before he radioed for help and was taken to the hospital. A doctor and later an eye specialist confirmed that Johnson had suffered mild welder or flash burns to his eyes. Even stranger, both Johnson's wristwatch and the electric clock in his patrol car had mysteriously stopped for 14 minutes. An investigator from the Center for UFO Studies in Evanston, Illinois, flew in to examine the damaged patrol car. There was no evidence of radioactivity, and neither the investigator nor the sheriff can figure how the two spring-mounted antennas became bent at almost 90-degree angles. At the scene of the accident, skid marks show Deputy Johnson coasted for 800 feet after impact before applying the brakes. The area around here has been searched, but nothing's been found. All kinds of small airplane theories have been bandied around, but Deputy Johnson clearly remembers hearing no engine noise. And nothing explains the 14-minute lapse in the two timepieces, nor the peculiar bending of the antennas. It's a mystery. Or, as the UFO investigator from Illinois said, it appears to have been a close encounter of the second kind. Jillian Rice, Channel 5 Eyewitness News in Marshall County.